After joining the 1% and reaching the status of billionaire, we would expect that person to splash their cash on homes, cars, sports teams, and private islands. However, not all of them do that. In fact, there's an elite wealthy club of those that are frugal with their fortunes, on occasion spending even less than the average person. Today, we're going to look at some of the billionaires all over the globe that are extra careful with their finances. Whether it's buying a cheap house, a budget car, or even cutting their own hair, they all have ways to save a few bucks. Let's get started. Not only is he one of the richest people in the U.S., but also in the whole world. With an estimated net worth of $105 billion, Warren Buffett made his fortune from leading the conglomerate company Berkshire Hathaway. The Oracle of Omaha is known for his frugal ways, one of which is spending just 18 bucks on his haircut. The national average across the U.S. is $28 for men. Yet the billionaire investor is best known for the house he resides in. He originally purchased the five-bedroom abode in Omaha, Nebraska back in 1958. At the time, Buffett spent $31,500. Today, that would be around $297,000, which is slightly above the median house sale price across the city of Omaha at $225,000. For a long time, Buffett also avoided splurging money on a smartphone. Instead, he used a flip phone, the Samsung Haven. Refurbished models can be bought for up to 30 bucks, even though Buffett is an Apple investor. However, last year he did announce he was now using an iPhone 11, but only for making calls. One person that's often compared to Warren Buffett is Canadian Jim Pattison. He is the founder of the Jim Pattison Group. The conglomerate regularly brings in billions of dollars in revenues. As such, Pattison currently has an estimated net worth of $10.2 billion. Due to his upbringing in a poor household during the Great Depression, Pattison looks after his pennies today. When he started his career, he worked as a car salesman. As such, you'd expect the billionaire to have an army of luxury cars. Nope, instead he's known for driving a Dodge Ram 1500 Laramie in his hometown. The starting price for the car during its release in 2019 was just under $32,000, while the average price for a new car in the U.S. during the same year was almost $37,000. By the end of 2020, the average was up to over 40000 But Pattison has been known to splash cash on occasion, such as spending $4.8 million on the gown that Marilyn Monroe wore when she sang happy birthday to then-president John F. Kennedy. Happy birthday, Mr. President. He's one of the most recognizable billionaires on the planet. We're talking about Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. With a net worth of an eye-watering $119.4 billion, Zuckerberg certainly has the cash to spend loads. And at times he does, mostly when it comes to his houses and beefing up the security. But he is frugal elsewhere. For starters, his wardrobe, which often consists of a plain t-shirt, jeans, and maybe a hoodie. He's even been seen shopping at Costco. After marrying Priscilla Chan, the two were spotted enjoying McDonald's while on their honeymoon in Italy. But the main frugality comes in due to his cars. In 2014, he purchased a Volkswagen Golf GTI. At the time, they were priced at a little over $30,000. The average cost of a new car across the states during that year was over $32,000. For trips to the office, he's also been seen in a Honda Fit and an Acura TSX over the years, both of which have a value of less than $30,000. Ingvar Kamprad was the founder of a company that makes items that most of us have in our homes, IKEA. Before passing away in 2018 at the age of 91 with a net worth of $3.5 billion, Kamprad was known for his unlavish lifestyle. The flat pack father used to fly economy whenever he had to travel for work. When attending a gala to receive an award for Businessman of the Year, he was originally refused entry due to arriving on a public bus. He even stated that he always buys his clothes from flea markets. When looking to move back to Sweden after living in Switzerland for decades, his house in Epalange was put on the market for about $4.6 million. However, the house was found to be very run down and practically worthless. The listing recommended demolishing the house and building other properties in its space. For decades, Comprod drove a 1993 Volvo 240 GL, which was originally worth $22,000. He only gave it up when someone persuaded him that the ramshackle vehicle was now too dangerous to drive. Judy Faulkner is an elusive billionaire. She regularly avoids having her photo taken and only takes interviews occasionally. Faulkner made her fortune from founding Epic Systems with a $70,000 investment from family and friends. 
This company specializes in creating software for hospitals to store patient records. During 2020, the company reportedly made sales amounting to $3.3 billion. As such, Faulkner is said to have a net worth of $6 billion. Along with her pediatrician husband Gordon, Faulkner has lived in the same modest house in Madison, Wisconsin for three decades. Currently, average house sale prices in the city are $336,000. In the past 20 years, Faulkner has only owned two cars as well. During 2015, Faulkner joined the Giving Pledge, which is a commitment by wealthy folk to donate their fortune to good causes. Faulkner has pledged to donate 99% of her assets. In her letter, she stated her reason was, I never had any personal desire to be a wealthy billionaire living lavishly. Not every professor is a billionaire, but David Sheridan is a special case. The Canadian was one of the first investors for Google by providing a collective $200,000 with Andy Bechtelsheim. Now, Sheridan has a net worth of $9.9 .9 billion. The Stanford computer science professor would also co-found multiple computer companies that have helped him net his fortune, including Arista Networks and Granite Systems. When talking about living the life of a billionaire, Sheridan stated, I'm actually quite offended by that sort of thing. Sheridan has been known to save his food over two days at buying it from an expensive restaurant. He's even been known to reuse tea bags. Sheridan also cuts his own hair, flies coach, and drives a 1986 Volkswagen Vanagon as well as a 93 Honda Accord. Accords from that era can be picked up for less than $2,000 today. Sheridan has also lived in his Californian house in Palo Alto since 1981 when he first moved to the state. The wealthiest person in Mexico by a long way is Carlos Slim Elu. The one-time richest person in the world has at the moment a net worth of $67.8 billion. The bulk of the businessman's fortune stems from founding the conglomerate Grupo Carso in 1980. Other companies he's involved with include America Mobil and Telmex. Slim has lived in the same six-bedroom house for 40-odd years. The house is in the neighborhood of Lomas de Chapultepec within Mexico City. Journalist Tim Paget, when referencing Slim, stated, just by looking at him, you'd never know he's a billionaire. Throughout the whole of Mexico City, the average house price is around 2.9 million pesos, which is just under $145,000. He did purchase a mansion on Fifth Avenue in New York City during 2010 for $44 million as well. However, this was for an investment, not for living in. Slim has also been known to avoid luxury planes, yachts, and so on. Instead, he has an old Mercedes-Benz that he drives to work every day. Final fact finish, while not a billionaire anymore, the co-founder of duty-free shoppers group Chuck Feeney also lives frugally. Since becoming wealthy, the 90-year-old has donated $8 billion of his fortune to charitable causes. Prior to this, he would carry reading material in a plastic bag. At the moment, he has a net worth of $2 million. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.